What's up guys, it's Kira here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in case you didn't quite gather from the massive pile of stuff that is quite literally surrounding me, I have a haul video for you guys today. So I went shopping in some of my favorite homeware haunts and also some new places that I found online and I definitely spent way too much money. I went a little crazy. I had saved and set aside some money for this particular reason. So yeah, without rambling on too much, I'm going to get straight into it. There is a lot of stuff to go through and I will of course link everything in the description below. Are you ready for probably the biggest haul on my channel so far? Let's get into it. I feel like this is gonna be such an awkward video with all the like picking up, but let's just do it. Ikea have some really, really amazing real plants for very, very cheap. So I picked up this one. Like it's big and leafy and green and it's awesome. And I also got a pot to come with it. I kind of wanted to go for the black color because I think I'm gonna put this in the sitting room. And so far the sitting room is shaping up to be kind of masculine with a lot of blacks and browns and darker colors. So I think that the pops of green will really pick it up and I will find the price for you now. So I found it here on the receipt, so I took ages. So the plant was nine euro and the pot, I think was 6.50. It was either 6.50 or five euros. So I picked up this beautiful orchid and I also got this little kind of woven plant pot to go with it. If I remember correctly, the orchid was under five euro. It was like four or something. And I think the plant pot was the same. The last plant is this little guy and this is the peace Dagenot. I mean, the Ikea names, they're just impossible to pronounce. I also got this cute little pot for it as well. I think this again was like two or three euro and I think this was only about four euro. Yeah, all of their plants are really, really affordable and their pots are as well. And it's just such a fun thing to add to your room. So if you're unsure about like decor for a new room, you can't go wrong with the plant. Next up from Ikea, a pack of five candles. They're varying sizes and thicknesses, which is perfect if you want to do that kind of cluster of candles together. So what I also picked up to go with these candles is a really, really simple gold tray. So I can put this in the center of a coffee table or on a side table, even on the dining table, just as like a kind of little accent as well and something that you can light when you're kind of having a meal or whatever. I'm not gonna go through the receipt for everything because it's just gonna take me way too long, but I will link it below and you'll see, be able to see the price there. So next up I bought this little candle snuffer. So this was a little bit of an impulse purchase, I didn't really need it, but I have had the problem before when I blow out candles and I get wax on the wall or wax on the table and this obviously avoids that because it just kind of snuffs them out. You kind of just put it over the wick. So yeah, I think I'll use this. I have quite a few vases already and I love filling them with flowers, but I also wanted to get a few smaller ones that you could pop one flower or one kind of plant leaf or something in. I just think it looks really cool. And again, this was very inexpensive. I think it was only like two or three euro and I could have gotten more of them, but I just wanted to stick with one for now. I'm sure I will be going back to Ikea at some stage over the next few weeks to pick up some more bits. So I just wanted to get one for now, but I think this is going to look really Really, really cute. Something that I have searched high and low for on the high street is a bell jar for a candle. I could not find them anywhere. It is just a really, really simple cover that goes over a candle and it has a little wooden bottom on it as well. You don't actually have to use this for a candle. You could use it for an ornament, a cactus, a plant. And I've seen it so much on Pinterest and I just was mad to get one for myself. So I found them in Ikea and I was delighted. But I also got the larger one as well. One was six and one was 12, and I am so delighted with these. So this bag is empty, which is great. So another purchase from Ikea that I'm so, so pleased with are these sheepskin cushions. So they are sold in just the cushion cover, and then you buy the cushion itself, like the filler for them. They were 20 euro each for the cushion covers, which seems a little bit expensive for Ikea, but at the same time, it's actually real sheepskin. And I had looked at these cushions in TK Maxx. They have beautiful cushions in TK Maxx, FYI, but they're very expensive. Even at TK Maxx prices, I saw something really, really similar to this in loads of different colors, and it was about 44 euros for one cushion. So I was like, no, Kira, stop, it's too expensive. So I didn't get it. So I'm delighted with these. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use them for the couch or the bed yet, but I knew I would use them for something. Um, so yeah, that's, I think, everything from Ikea. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I got from TK Maxx next. And the first thing is this incredible lamp. So it's this beautiful gold detail and it has your black cable. It's only 34.99, so 35 euro in TK Maxx. I thought it was really, really reasonable. I think this one is probably gonna go here in the sitting room 
even though it would be lovely in the bedroom or in my office, I'll figure out where I'm gonna put everything and then I will do like an updated vlog and show you where everything's going and how it's kind of being styled into the place. So yeah, this is the first thing I got. Really, really happy with this. The next thing that I got is... The next thing I got is this guy. It is a rose gold, such a basic blogger bitch thing to do, but it is very cute. I probably would have preferred it if it was a yellow gold, but it's a rose gold wine holder. So basically this just goes on top of your counter or your table or whatever you want to do. Goes on top and then you can fit four wine bottles here and three wine bottles on the top. It was $16.99. I absolutely love wine. And I wanted to get some sort of wine display feature. And I was looking at wooden wine racks in TK Maxx and in Ikea. And they were all kind of wooden and kind of boring and they were around the same price so i thought this one's perfect when it's set up and i have a couple of bottles of vino in it it will look really really cool so yeah that's the next thing that i got from tk maxx so the last thing that i got in tk maxx is this guy it is a black marble tray so this was reduced and it was only 10 euro it's very heavy it's real marble and i just think it's so so beautiful you could have this as a little display on a table or a coffee table or a side table just like the gold tray that i showed you from ikea you could put some candles on this you could put just like a little kind of accent display thing but i also use this for photography as well so if i'm photographing jewelry or beauty uh, products for my blog or my youtube backdrops like this are like the perfect prop because they just create a really beautiful kind of background and marble just photographs so so well anyway so yeah for 10 euro i thought this was a really good bargain and i am dreading taking the sticker off this i flipping hate when they have annoying stickers that i know are going to be really difficult to get off but hey ho what are you going to do so that is it for tk maxx i am going to move on to tiger and i'm going to show you four five little pieces that i picked up in there over the past few days First thing that I got is this little Perspex container. It's the perfect size for cotton pads for your face. So I think it looked really, really cute in my little medicine cabinet. I have one of those little cabinets over the, over the sink that has two layers and I can put all my bits in it. So this is gonna look really, really cute. And I think it was 250. I love the little bauble on the top. I think it's really cute. The next thing I picked up in Tiger is this really small jewelry holder. Actually looking at this now, it kind of feels like it's a little bit too girly for me, but I really wanted something that I could pop my earrings and my rings and my necklaces in. And this seemed the perfect size. So I definitely will use this. Um, and it was kind of cute. And I think it was, I think it was like two or three euro. It was very, very cheap and cheerful as is Tiger's way. They do very, very um, inexpensive bits. Now, the next thing I picked up from Tiger is this unusual looking guy. And you probably know already, this is one of those jewelry holders. Now it's kind of hard to see because of all that's going on in the background. But as you can see, it's black marble, this kind of little hexagon shape. And then it has a gold T-bar at the top, but I'm not going to use it for jewelry. I will use this I think in the entryway table in the hallway for putting my headphones and keys and like knickknacks that I always take out with me. You know when you're in a rush to leave the house and you're like, where are my headphones? Which always happens to me. This will be the perfect place and I'll be like, oh, of course, they're on this. So that was kind of my reasoning behind it. Now, the last thing that I got from Tiger is another black marble tile. This one was the same price, it was 10 euro. It's a little bit smaller than the round one that I just showed you from TK Maxx, but it's very thick and feels very substantial. I just love the way marble feels. It's so cool to touch. I will use this on a table or a side table to kind of style a few pieces on it. It might work really, really well on a coffee table because of the shape, but I will definitely use this um, either for prop photography or just as a decorative piece in itself. So I know I already have a marble slab, but my reasoning behind getting another one was that the TK Maxx one was round and this one was diagonal. So diagonal, does that make sense? Diagonal square. Oh, it's been so long since I was in school. Anyway, really, really liked it. It was 10 euro. They have loads of them in there now. Um, if you like this kind of thing, I would go in and snap them up because you can use these for so many different things. I think it actually was called a chopping board. Maybe I'll get another one for a chopping board. No, I've spent enough money. Next up, I'm gonna show you what I picked up in pennies. So I went there twice on two different days and picked up a bunch of different things. Uh, their homeware selection is really, really good right now. If you haven't popped into the Mary Street store, 
Downstairs they have a huge selection of homeware. I picked up quite a few things So I'm going to show you what I got the first thing I have to show you are these Cushions and they have this really cool detail on the edge like a piping You can see that there. So they're really nicely stuffed. They feel super soft This material is really really soft, but it's the print that really caught my eye. I love anything tropical and I think it's really fun to add little pops of it into your home it's like a nice little dose of color and fun and these were eight euro each so I really couldn't leave them behind cushions are really expensive like really expensive I definitely think you need to shop around let's say in TK Maxx I found some really good value stuff like the lamp was brilliant value but then I thought their cushions were super expensive for what they were what they were so I thought pennies did a really really good job to do something like this for eight euro I was really impressed and of course I had to get two of them I think these are going to go in the sitting room I don't think I'm gonna have these in the bedroom but I think um yeah, I think they're probably one of my best buys from Pennies, they're deadly. So I also picked up another cushion cover in Pennies. This one didn't come filled, but it doesn't really matter because I have cushions here that I can use to fill it. And I'm just gonna open it. So this is a gorgeous light blue printed color and it has these gorgeous little pom-poms, these little kind of tassels on the corners and it was five euro and it is kind of that standard cushion size. So I have cushions here that I can just pop this on top of. I might actually go back and get another one of these. I only picked up one for now, um, just to see what it looks like on when it's filled, but I have a feeling I'm gonna go back and get another one of these. So another thing that I picked up in pennies are two of these little tea light candle holders. These were only two euro each and they are so, so cute. And I just wanted to pick up a couple of them because I thought they would be perfect to kind of dot along a coffee table or to put on a dining table or basically anywhere, really. So another thing that I picked up in pennies that I really don't have an explanation for is this little cactus ornament. So it's completely hollow all the way down. So I guess you could put something in it, but I don't think that it's a vase. I don't really know what it is, to be honest. When I saw this, I was like, I don't know what you are and I don't know what you do, but I want you. And it was 350, so it really wasn't that expensive of a purchase. So I think I will use this as a little ornament. I actually think this could look so, so cute inside one of the bell jars that I showed you. So I'm gonna see what that looks like. Another thing that I picked up is this really small little cactus note holder. So it's so simple and so cute and it was 150 and this is going to go in the entryway kind of hall table and it's for clipping on post or letters or notes of just, or just important things that I kind of need to see and it's just gonna go in the hallway as soon as you come into the house. So it's so cute, like it's, they had flamingo ones, they had loads of different styles, but I thought the cactus was my favorite and yeah, it was 150. So another thing that I really have to commend pennies on is their candle game. They are really, really nice smelling. They burn for quite a long time and they're also very inexpensive. So I really couldn't leave without picking up at least one to try out. So the one that I chose is the number 17 candle. It is amber and ginger and it says it has an earthy and spicy aroma and I actually love expensive candles. I have a diptyque that I adore and I have a Jo Malone one but they're so expensive that I'm so afraid to burn them. So I think that you can get your less expensive candles that you can burn around the house and then keep your pretty ones as like an ornament, which I know a lot of people think is really silly, but if the candle is 50 euro, like I just can't, I'm not ready to burn it. I'm not ready. It'll have to be a serious special occasion. Like it will have to be like the Pope visiting for me to burn my expensive candles. So this is a perfect alternative. I might actually put this in the bathroom because I really like the bright yellow color. And yeah, I think I'll probably co go back and pick up a few other ones, but I wanted to try some of them out first before I went and bought a big heap of them. The rest of the bits that I bought in pennies are all for my bathroom. And myself and Yosef have now have separate bathrooms, which is in itself so cool. So it means that I can kind of do whatever I want with the bathroom that I have. If you have watched my uh, Come to a Press event with me vlog, you'll have seen that I picked up an amazing Pam tropical print shower curtain. One of the things that they've carried that print through in are these hand towels. So this is the print basically of the shower curtain, but I picked it up in this hand towel. I think it was about three or four euro. And I also got these two little face cloths. I haven't even opened them from the packaging. I think these were 350 or three euro for two. Another thing that I needed for my bathroom was a bath mat. And I was like, okay, I really, really want to get a tacky pink one. And I looked in pennies and sure enough, they had this. So it's bright pink memory foam and it says gorgeous. 
This was eight euro and they do a lot of bath mats that are and shower mats that are a lot less expensive but I wanted to spring the extra few euro because I thought this one was just hilarious. So keeping in with the kind of cheesy Club Tropicana vibe of the bathroom I picked up two different uh, flamingo themed pieces that they had in pennies. So the first thing that I got is this little dish and this was four euro and this I am either going to use for soap or I'm going to use for my jewellery because sometimes when I go into the bathroom and I go to have a shower, I still have earrings and necklaces and things on and I obviously want to take them off before I shower and I don't really have anywhere to put them. But the last thing that I picked up is a sheet of Flamingo wall stickers. <laughs> And I know some of you are probably thinking like, what are you five? I just thought they were really fun. I think I might put them on the shower tiles. They might not stay though. I don't know. I haven't really thought this through, but they were 250 and like, look at them. They're so fun. How could you not like these? They have lots of different funny wall stickers if you're into that. I mean, they would be great for a kid's room as well, but me being the 27 year old, that I am, I thought they would be funny for the bathroom. So that is almost everything. As you can see, there's so much more space in the video now, it's great. I have one shop left to show you and I am so excited about this, I can barely contain myself. So the last thing that I'm gonna show you are two neon lights, neon wall signs, if you will, um, that I picked up from an online website called Bag and Bones. I ordered these from Bag and Bones uh, about a week ago and they arrived within a couple of days. The shipping was really quick. The traditional way that neon wall signs are made is with glass piping. So it's basically glass piping and then kind of a like a, a tube of a fuse or a bulb in it. So what happens is the glass bulb, uh, when it's lit and when it's um, left on for a while, can get really, really hot and it can risk overheating or bursting, which is very dangerous, it's a huge fire hazard. But also they are notoriously bad for running up your electricity bill because they take a lot of power to run. So obviously we all know neon signs that you see outside, you know, on the street for bars and pubs and clubs, and you might see them inside, but to have in households, they can be a little bit problematic. So this company started really, really recently. I think they're less than six months old. They're called Bag and Bones and they're UK based. It's an Irish girl and a girl from the UK that joined together and they created a wall sign that was made out of plastic. So it's not glass piping. So not only is it much, much safer in the home, it doesn't risk overheating, but they also claim to use 70 to 90% less electricity to run, which is a big thing. So for me and my ESB bill, it means that it's not gonna be as high as it would be if I had a traditional glass wall sign. So that was kind of my explanation. I wanted to kind of give you guys the backstory. So I chose two wall signs from them and I'm gonna show you what I got because they're so cool. I can't wait to put them up. They're just gas. So the first one I got, and it's gonna look different because it's not illuminated, the first one I got is a flamingo! Da, 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 da. It's this beautiful, beautiful, bright, bright pink color with a gorgeous kind of baby pink on the beak. And I just think it is so badass and so eye-catching and just so cool. So I think I'm going to put this one in the sitting room. I think it would work perfectly as like a really strong accent piece. And you can obviously leave it um, you know, not illuminated during the day and it still looks cool. But when you turn it on, you know, in the evening time, it really, really pops. So this was the first one that I picked up and it's just like, I'm so in love with it. What I think is really cool about the bag and bones wall signs is that they're really easy to set up. They're very light because they're not made of glass. They're a lot easier to mount on your wall and they come with this plexiglass kind of plastic frame. So this basically comes with a cable and a little uh, power pack and then a wall plug. So it's very long and it's a lot easier to fix onto your wall and it's a lot less heavy as well. Second one that I got is this lightning bolt. So this one is a yellow neon wall sign. Again, I'm gonna show you pictures of it. in my office over my computer. Um, I think it will be the perfect like big symbol and just, I think it would just be really invigorating and I think the color would be amazing. And oftentimes when I'm spending really, really long hours editing, having softer lights are easier on my eyes because my eyes do get quite tired when you're on the computer and looking at the screen for so long. So having something like this overhead and I can kind of dim the rest of the lights 
I think it would be pretty cool. So this Flamingo one, which is larger, was £195. And this one, I think, was, was a little bit over £50. And if you, like me, have been caught by the neon wall sign bug and you really, really want to get one, definitely check out Bag and Bones before you get a traditional glass bulb. It's safer, it's cheaper, and it will cost you less in the long run. Bag and Bones have actually given me a neon wall sign to give away to one of you guys, which is amazing. So the one that they've given me to give away is this heart. So this is pink and I didn't want to open it, I want to leave it in all of its packaging but as you can see it's got its backing on the back, it has the plastic backing and it's a pink neon heart. I'm going to be giving this away over on my Instagram page. So if you want to enter this competition it is so so simple, just head over to my Instagram page, I will leave a link in the description below. My username is at Kira O'Doherty so head over there and you will see a picture of this and the entry rules are so so simple you just have to follow me and follow bag and bones and just comment underneath as much as i would love to keep this for myself i am giving it away to one of you guys so definitely head over to my instagram page and check that out if you want to be in with a chance to win so i can't believe that we have gotten through it i feel like i've been here for three days showing you all the bits that i have picked up so i do try and promote being a conscious shopper and not buying loads of things for the sake of it. And even though it really does look like I have bought a lot of stuff, I really did think about everything. And before I stepped foot into the shops, I tried to think about what kind of style I wanted for each room, what pieces were on my wish list. And of course I saw a few pieces that I didn't plan on buying, but I tried to think everything through. And I also ended up uh, putting a lot of things back before I went to the till. I really don't usually buy loads of things at the one time it's just that with this move we are trying to decorate an apartment we don't really have a lot of decorative items anyway so that's kind of why there is a whole this big happening right now hopefully you've gotten a little bit of interiors inspiration if that's what you came here looking for do let me know in the comments below which piece was your favorite or if there are any pieces that you didn't like i always love hearing your feedback if you liked this type of video feel free to give it a thumbs up so i will know that you would like to see more interiors content or more hauls on this channel and as always if you have not already then be sure to subscribe to my channel i will leave my subscription link here in the end card and i post at least two new videos every week so you do not want to miss out on that. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you on my next one. Bye!